country. And tonight we're taking a closer look at the Taliban takeover. More U.S. troops are on their way to Afghanistan to help evacuate U.S. personnel and allies. Within the next few days, around 6,000 troops will arrive at the International Airport. As Victor Georges reports, Western allies are aiming to get their people out. For the first time in nearly two decades, the Taliban has taken over Afghanistan. The fundamentalist religious group held power over most of the nation during the late 1990s. There are now concerns of the region turning into a safe haven for extremists, creating a human rights problem. Monday morning, images coming out of the country show thousands of Afghans rushing into Kabul's main airport, desperate to escape the Taliban. This comes the day after the Afghan president, Ashraf Ghani, fled the nation. The Taliban now inside the presidential palace, a milestone in the group's control over the capital city. Now, at least Turkey, Italy, Belgium and the U.S. have taken their people out. The United States promises to be generous in resettling Afghans in our own country, and I'm heartened by the pledges we've seen from other nations to do the same. We need to all do more, and the time to step up is now. The Taliban forced their way into the capital city to take over the country's Western-backed government. The Pentagon confirms it will provide protection and transportation to 30,000 people in Kabul. In April, President Biden said it's time to bring back American soldiers, something the last four presidents wanted to do. I'm now the fourth United States president to preside over American troop presence in Afghanistan. Two Republicans, two Democrats. I will not pass this responsibility onto a fifth. It's time for American troops to come home. Biden pledged to remove troops before September 11th of this year on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. So far, at least seven people have died from this forced transition of power. In the studio, Victor Georges, KTC TV3.